Hello and good evening. Last week, my son came home from school without his bike because someone took it, but fortunately it was locked, so it was just placed somewhere half a kilometer away. But today I thought of using one of these here, um, which is the Dragino Dragino LGT92 and the TAPS object locator. Both are GPS um, location devices. Um, they are lower band powered. I personally like the um, TAPS object locator because of its size. It's super small. Um, it's rechargeable. You can charge that using a future-proof USB-C connection. It has one button and it will send on motion and when you press that button. Same goes to the um, LG T92. It has a charging port where I'm using traditional micro USB. It has an alarm knob and it also reacts on motion. And when there is motion, it sends out the actual position. It holds the GPS fix that both devices hold it um, from the internal battery and you can charge that. And it runs for several days on a single charge. Um, today I made a first test which device is better suited. And I personally um, think that the um, Dragino device is better because of some extra features. So on Datacake, I created a workspace called bike tracking for this. So um, a separate tenant where both devices are in. Um, you simply add press add device. You select the Dragino devices from here or the Broan devices, object locator. You can choose the um, LoRaWAN network, which you want to use. In that case, I used Datacake TTN because um, in this case, I have to provide all the information just on Datacake and do not need to set up anything else on the um, Things Network console. So here's the result. Today I picked both and I'm starting with the LG T92. I took it on a bike and I took it on a car later on and driving around in the city to see if there is lower band coverage and there is. So somewhere here is the school that makes a lot of sense to um, hook it up to his bike. So basically um, with the preset, when you create the device on Datacake, you can see um, this dashboard, you get the dashboard, um, which is automatically being created, and you get these um, um, tracking features here. And because of this device is having spe one special feature, um, which that device unfortunately has not, um, I would use this here for tracking the bike. And we're using the motion feature here, because that means I can now switch it on, maybe you can see if that works here. I'm not sure if it has GPS fix, but when there is motion being detected from that device, it goes to sleep before when there's no motion, but when there is motion detected through the um, accelerometer, it is going to send the um, position immediately and the um, motion um, indicator will then send a yes. So that means that you can react on motion and I've created um, you can see here in the rules, a basic rule, that means when motion is true, please send an SMS. And in that SMS, I've provided a small text that the bike is in motion. So when my son is still at school and there is motion detected, I will receive an SMS. And later on, if someone took his bike once more, I can now see um, where that bike is. And um, yeah, it's more easy to find it because it took us two days to find that bike. Um, the taps, I took it as well. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't recorded any of these um, tracks here. I'm not sure why this hasn't worked, but it also works with the GPS fix. It says you the battery voltage and some temperature in addition, but it would be cooler if um, this device here would have the motion feature as well. Both devices react on motion. So if there is motion, they start to send something out or if you press that button here, this one here has this, um, not sure if it works right now because it has no fix, but it has the alarm button. That means that when you hold it for at least five seconds, it sends out um, an alarm and you can use that alarm. In this case, um, there's now an alarm. Um, you can also react on this one here as well. So this will be the device that I'm going to super secretly hide in his bike. So, and I'm going to test that next week and we see what happens and the result will be posted here. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned.